Talk now to the PRO Nigerian Institute of Building, Godfrey Godfrey, who joins us uh, via Zoom from Lagos. We're told that this particular building in question has been marked for demolition, having failed an integrity test. Uh, is it a matter of how long a building has lasted? What really are the criteria that determines whether a building should stay or be demolished? Thank you very much for having me. Happy Eid Fitri to our Muslim brothers and sisters across the world. Uh, to your question, the, the challenge that is often observed with um, substandard construction practices is what you are seeing in play now. The building in question, I'm sure it's not up to about 30 years old. So this invariably means that during the construction of that building, the right things, processes, materials, and all of that have not been carried out. To so capital, the professionals have not been allowed to play a role in the construction of those projects. Lagos, Lagos alone recorded about five of such incidents last year, including one in November, um, in which more than 40 people reportedly died when a high-rise building um, that was still being constructed crumbled on workers. Now, authorities have faced accusations of failing to enforce building regulations. Do you think a government could have done better in this particular case? Well, yeah, the truth is that there is always more for government to do. And we keep encouraging them and uh, advocating that they do more. From the information we gather, that building had been marked for, had been marked, you know, by the government official, LAFSCA, is the agency who is in charge, you know, to look at the stability of soft structure and then carry out, um, you know, necessary preliminary evaluation. So having carried out that evaluation, they had marked that building and requested and asked, mandated every occupant of the building to evacuate. Unfortunately, that's actually, that didn't follow up with the, with the actions because Nigerians for who they are, when you, when you just mark a structure and ask them to demolish, I mean, and ask them to evacuate, they're not going to do that willingly. So oftentimes there is always need for force to be as asserted on you know on such uh, occupants. Unfortunately, on this one, we have lost some lives. So there is always more for government officials to do. How well involved is the Nigerian Institute of Building in the process of enforcing quality in the building process, as we speak? Yeah. So. Uh, Nigeria is a building, you know, uh, is not empowered to, to enforce, okay? By law, you know, um, a builder is actually someone who has been licensed to practice by Coburn. Coburn is the Council of Registration of uh, Builders in Nigeria. They are the ones that regulate building activities, you know, both in, in, uh, um, in practice, and, and, and all of that. So the, a builder cannot readily go and enforce. So the advocacy we keep uh, giving to Nigerian populace is that they should as much as possible engage professionals who are certified to carry out building construction activities in Nigeria. So as to bring to an end the incessant and shameful building collapses that's happening across the, across the country. Unfortunately, we are seeing a spike in this because the rains have come. And this rainy season um, will not be surprised if we see more building collapses. And this is because most of those buildings, by the time the rains come, they absorb more moisture. More moisture means more weight. And then, ordinarily, the structural elements that were, that were weak, heated to, will not now be able to support those extra weight that the rain has brought to it. That's one. Secondly, the soil on which the building is sitting on, you know, gets softer, you know, and is no more and permeable to, you know, to, 
to rainwater. And then therefore, the distortions begin. Once those distortions begin, what you see is that the foundation can no longer hold, you know, and then the begin, buildings begin to, you know, to bring, begin to come down. Godfrey Godfrey is the public relations officer of the Nigerian Institute of Building. Thank you for talking to us tonight. Mm -hmm.